you do graphic design, I guarantee you've had a moment where you have an idea in your head, but when you actually try to create it, it's just not turning out the way you expected. I know I've had moments where in my head, I've created the perfect design, but then I put it to the computer, I try to recreate it, and it doesn't look cohesive, it doesn't look like a graphic apparel design. Well, I have a brand new solution for you that has blown my mind. Say, for example, you have a design like this. In your mind, it looks fantastic, but maybe you don't actually have the capabilities to make the outline correctly. Maybe the elements that you're finding here just don't work with a graphic design. Maybe you can't find the right font or the right layout or adjustment that actually results in a design that you think, yes, this can actually sell. Well, what I've been doing nowadays when I actually can't get a design to look the way I want, but I have the general elements in my mind, something similar to that. Well, what I've been doing is using the Kittle smart boards. So if you go into Kittle and you just click on the board that you are designing in, I'm going to scroll down and hit add smart board. And then I'm going to type in a prompt under here that says something like, turn this into a better designed graphic design for a t-shirt or for a mug or whatever product you're designing for, because the types of graphic designs that might do better on different products are going to give you a slightly different result. But for the model up here, I'm actually not going to use Sea Dream. This is a new one that is awesome for photo realistic images. I'm actually going to use the chat GPT image for this. You also have Nano Banano. That's better for just making tweaks to a design. But if you're trying to create a brand new design from an idea for this case specifically, I've had the best result using the ChatGPT image 1HD and I'm going to hit generate. And once it loads, you are going to get something like this. So you can see here, it's actually aligned the background to be a lot more consistent. So you can see it actually looks like this is behind the cat. It's changed the cat up a little bit, but it generally kept the same vibe of it. And if it's added a retro-ish text here, that fits and they've actually added a curve because if you've actually looked on designs that do really well on t-shirts, this type of style with the art top and the more flat text on the bottom does very, very well. And the benefit of using this right within Kittle is now we can hit convert to image. What I can also do is I can remove the background. I'm just gonna move this to its own artboard. If I want, I can vectorize this image. So now I can scale it up and scale it down as much much as I want and it won't be pixelated. And now I can just change the colors if I want this to be a white version of this design. So let's change this and then let's change, probably should have just changed this to one color, but doesn't matter. And now easily I have the black version of this design and the white version of this design. But that's not the only use case for this. Another time I have used this quite a bit is to make a design just look more cohesive. So say for example, I want three different icons across the top of a shirt, but I can't find different elements, say from Canva or from Kittle or Creative Fabrica that seem to match. They don't look cohesive. They might have different weighting. One might be more detailed. These, for example, they look like they were just made by three different artists, three different elements all just brought in, but they don't look that cohesive. So what I've done is added a smart board and I said, make this a better design for a graphic t-shirt design where all the icons match and look cohesive. And now we got this design here where every single one of the icons is just as detailed. The weighting in the lines is the same. The color moves throughout them. Now this looks like it was made by one artist instead of three just random icons. And I could see this version selling a whole lot better. But we're still not done when it comes to the capabilities of what this can do and how it opens doors. Say for example, you have a design in your mind and you're just not able to create it online. Maybe Canva doesn't have the abilities, you don't have the technical abilities, you're not able to make it in Kittle, what you can do instead is just sketch out a general idea of this design that you had, maybe your logo, maybe you have a bit more of a complicated logo and you know the general area you wanna go with it, sketch it out, 
take a photo, send it to your computer, and then add in your photo of that design here. And then we're gonna do what we did last time. We're going to open a smart board and then type something like, turn this sketch into a better designed graphic design for a t-shirt. So pretty much what we did before, but I added in the word sketch and we're going to hit generate. And again, we are going with the chat GPT image model here and let's do generate and see what that gives us. And there we go. It has taken in what does well for graphic designs and t-shirts, which is generally very thick fonts. The layout here along with the curved top and them moving the the to the top to make this a better weighted design and make it fit better for a graphic t-shirt has already just been implemented right away into this design. Again, you can do it with logos. I had no clue what I was going for here, but in one second, I quickly drew out something on a piece of paper to see what result it would give me. And I asked it to make it a logo style. So we have this logo right here. Or another thing you could do is if you want to create just one design or just maybe one graphic created from multiple different graphics. And again, you have the layout in mind. Well, for this one, I grabbed a bunch of different elements and they're all different styles. We have a watercolor. We have this one. We have these faded um, snowflakes here. We have the different hat. And in the smart board, I just said, make this look like one cohesive watercolor graphic. I'm going to go a different way with this one. And I just wanted to create one watercolor graphic with these different elements in it. And there we go. Now we have this extremely cute looking photo here that again, looks like it was just created by one designer and they had this finished image in mind when creating it instead of a bunch of just random elements that don't really fit together. And PS starting November 1st, Kittle actually is offering 10 million free AI credits up for grabs. The first people to use it, it's just going to be free until that runs out. So if you want to give this a go and you don't have Kittle yet, you can download it from my description below. You can also get 25% off all plans if you choose to continue using Kittle. But I will highly say this is something that has become integral to my print on demand workflow lately. And if you already have Kittle, let me know in the comments below what you think of smart boards and what you've been using it for. And if this video helped you at all, if it helped you learn anything, I please ask if you could drop a like and subscribe. It would help my channel so much. Thank you guys and I will see you next week.